Psalm 138, verse 8. The Lord will perfect that which concerneth me. Thy mercy, O Lord, endureth for ever. Forsake not the works of thine own hands. David is confident that God will not only begin a good work in him, but he will complete it or perfect it. And Paul said in Philippians 1.6, I am confident of this very thing, that he who began a good work in you will perfect it until the day of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Wonderful. But what's the ground of Paul's confidence? What's the ground of David's confidence in this psalm? You see, I could be confident that a builder will complete the work that he started and base my confidence on his reputation and character, but countless numbers of things can crop up to stop him fulfilling his contract, even his own death. We've learned to live with these uncertainties and make the most of it. But David's confidence and Paul's confidence is built on the rock of God's mercy. And as he says in this verse, that mercy endures forever. Hallelujah. Heaven and earth could and would pass away, but God's mercy would stand forever. You know, everything is topsy-turvy in this world and it needs reversing. To the objection, how can you be so sure of God's care of you? We should say, how can you doubt it? To the objection, what makes you think God loves you? We should answer, what makes you think he doesn't? To the objection, where is God? We should say, where are you? You see, God hasn't changed. God doesn't change. Men have. The steadfast love of the Lord never ceases. His mercies never come to an end. Lamentations 3.22, that's a rock. That's an unchanging rock.